The Singapore Grand Prix weekend was rife with speculation that two Formula One teams had exceeded last year's budget cap of $145 million and could face sanctions from the governing body. Red Bull, one of the teams mentioned in reports, has received the brunt of the media spotlight and strong criticism from their competitors, which is understandable given that they are accused of breaking the rules during the year that Max Verstappen won the Drivers' World Championship. Regardless, the consequences of whether or not Red Bull cheated and what the FIA decides to do if they did could have far-reaching consequences for the entire sport. Indeed, the budget cap's very existence will be put to the ultimate test in the coming days. Without further ado, let's look at the allegations, what penalties the FIA might impose if Red Bull is found guilty, and how their decision will affect the entire sport. According to Paddock sources, when the final accounting is completed, both Red Bull Racing and Aston Martin will be reported as having exceeded the cap. Any squads that violate the limit, whether in a minor or significant way, will be subjected to a hearing where punishments will be meted out. Red Bull was particularly targeted, with wild rumors circulating that it could be over by as much as $10 million, and rivals Mercedes and Ferrari demanding strict action and penalties from the FIA for wrongdoing. Despite what its main opponents were saying, Red Bull remained steadfast in its commitment to its original March submission, which sources now claim could have been several million dollars under the limit. When asked if he was worried about the outcome of Wednesday's race, Red Bull team boss Christian Horner said, No, I mean, I'm absolutely confident in our submission. It's been through a process. It went in in March in terms of being signed off fully by our auditors, who are obviously one of the big three, and we believe that we are comfortable within the gap. So the FIA are following their process. We expect, hopefully and potentially this week, to hear not just us, but all of the teams, the outcome of that process. While Red Bull does not know what the FIA will say on Wednesday, he immediately admits that the governing body bears a great deal of responsibility for the thoroughness of its investigations and responses. There are a brand new set of regulations that are highly complicated, and that apply to companies of different structures, different formulations, and of course, regulations. There's always different interpretations to those regulations, so in the first year, it will be very interesting to see how that is applied. We've seen clarifications ever since the submissions were made that applied to last year, so it's always going to be a process of evolution. It's an enormous topic for the FIA to get their arms around, particularly when you look at the scale of the teams in the pit lane, many of which belong to even bigger conglomerates and organizations. When asked if the recent clarifications about which elements should and should not be included in the cost cap meant Red Bull was still under the limit, Horner stated that it was significantly under the cap, and that the FIA's clarifications would not change that. Horner was also irritated by other teams' references to Red Bull over the weekend, even suggesting that their comments were defamatory. He was clear that if certain remarks were not withdrawn, Red Bull would consider legal action, a stance that has not changed despite no response from other parties so far. Horner went on to say that it was completely unacceptable for their competitors to make completely unfounded allegations, and he has questioned how they obtained their information in the first place, given that all of these numbers would have been strictly confidential. Nonetheless, numerous reports have surfaced in the last week, all of which state the same thing. Red Bull spent more in 2021 than the budget cap permitted. So what kind of penalties can the FIA impose they are found guilty of such a transgression? The FIA has a cost cap administration, or CCA, or CCA panel in place to audit a team's returns for a season, with a panel carefully examining the accounts to ensure no violations occurred. If the CCA finds out that Red Bull violated the regulations, the case will be heard by the cost cap adjudication panel. Decisions made by the CCAP can be applied to the FIA's Internal Court of Appeal, or ICA for short. F1 really leaned into the acronym game, huh? The FIA's General Assembly will then elect a panel of judges who will hold a hearing with the offending team, as well as any relevant witnesses and officials, and can impose sanctions and costs on the offending team. F1's regulations specify a number of penalties for teams that exceed the cost cap. A public reprimand, a deduction of constructors' or drivers' championship points, exclusion from events, restrictions on aero testing, or a fine may be imposed for a minor breach or less than 5% overspend. Stricter sanctions are available in the event of a material overspend of more than 5% above the limit. These include points deducted from the drivers' or constructors' championships, suspension from events, restrictions on aero testing, exclusion 
reduction from the championship or a future reduction in the cost cap. With this list of penalties in mind, it is possible that Max Verstappen could miss out on the 2021 Drivers' Championship if the FIA retroactively denies him some points. But don't get too excited just yet, because such a harsh penalty would almost certainly spark a huge controversy, which F1 has been trying to avoid following the disastrous handling of last season's Abu Dhabi finale. If Red Bull is found to be more than 5% over the cap, the FIA has another draconian option, complete exclusion from the championship. Yes, Tifosi, Ferrari still has a chance. All jokes aside, such a turn of events is even less plausible. Just imagine the fallout from such a penalty. However, some are in favor of it, with Red Bull's main rivals, Mercedes and Ferrari, stating that a breach requires a strong hand from the FIA. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff, who discussed the issue extensively with the media alongside Ferrari counterpart Mattia Bonotto, is adamant that the FIA must take firm action if a team is found to have overspent. The cost cap is probably the most important evolution of regulations in order to keep a level playing field, and to allow teams that haven't got the full budget to catch up and put the ceiling onto the spending of the top teams. So, it is of huge importance for a demonstration that these regulations are policed, and I have no reason to believe otherwise. The FIA, particularly Mohammed, have shown a pretty robust stance on enforcing all kinds of regulations. So I think if we're talking now about something big, he will show the same integrity and leadership that he's done before. Intriguingly, when asked if a potential breach by Red Bull harmed last year's title race for Mercedes, Wolf declined to elaborate. I have no information at that stage if they are in breach, by how much they are in breach. And obviously, being in breach in one year means you're probably in breach of a second year and potentially a third year. And once that is clarified, I'm sure lots of discussions are going to take off about what effect it would have. But it's too early at this stage to comment. Meanwhile, Ferrari race director Laurent Marquisa has also spoken out about the situation, urging the FIA to be thorough in determining whether Red Bull has broken any financial rules. And should the governing body confirm an indiscretion, Marquisa wants serious action to be taken. It's now no secret that two teams broke the 2021 budget cap regulations, one by a significant amount, the other less so. We regard this as something very serious and expect FIA to manage situation in exemplary fashion. Red Bull will undoubtedly be furious that their closest competitors are pressuring the FIA to impose harsher penalties, and Christian Horner was probably the angriest person on the paddock in Singapore. Horner suggested that it was an underhanded tactic to distract from the fact that lead driver Verstappen is on the verge of winning the 2022 title, and it appears that his star driver Max Verstappen feels the same way. When asked about the situation in Singapore, the Dutchman responded, I know where the speculation comes from, so for me, it's okay. What I hear from the team, yes, I'm confident. Of course, then, other teams started to talk about it when they had no information. I find that a bit silly. Just keep your mouth shut. Another driver who has been questioned about the situation is Lewis Hamilton, who could end up retroactively winning a record-breaking 8th Drivers World Championship title if the FIA deems that an appropriate course of action. Talking to media whether such an outcome was possible, the 37-year-old said, I've not really given it much attention, to be honest. It's all whispers at the moment. I don't know enough about it to be able to make a sensible comment. I'm not thinking, but particularly anything. I'm proud of my team for the diligence that they've done to run to the rules. I honestly have full confidence in Ben Suleyam, in the way that he's conducted himself to this point, in terms of being strict and being clear with the rules. The rules are rules, and for those sorts of things which can lead to real alterations in terms of car performance, we definitely have to take it seriously. I don't know if it's true or not, we'll see. Teams that are aware of the potential breaches are also concerned that any potential unfair advantage from a 2021 breach could apply not only to that season, but also to 2022 and 2023. This is due to the additional resources that could be deployed in season on the 2021 car, as well as in preparation for all new technical rules in 2022. Furthermore, if teams had systems in place that allowed them to exceed the budget cap in 2021, there are concerns that they will do so again in 2022, as their accounting methods would presumably be the same and the budget cap has been reduced by $5 million. However, it appears that we will have to wait a little longer for concrete news on the situation and what actions the FIA will take. What are your thoughts on the whole situation? Is Red Bull guilty? And if so, what penalties will the FIA impose? Let us know in the comments. And if you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to be notified when we upload new videos, click the bell icon.